Hey guys, hope you had a great spring break. Headed home now. I uh, went to a uh, half marathon in Alabama. It's really cool. Uh, ran through the mountains and uh, finished the race in the caves. So it was a really unique half marathon. And I thought I'd share with you. Got a new medal to add to my collection. So race to the cave oh yeah time to head home now so i can be at school tomorrow Woo! welcome back from spring break people this lesson i filmed before we went on spring break so you'll see a lot of green in celebration of saint patrick's day hope you had a good one and uh let's check it out Enjoy some more tennis. All right, welcome to tennis. Lesson number, I think we're on lesson number four. So looking forward to having some fun. Uh, we got a really cool game set up for you guys today. Hey, as I always say, um, let's do a little bit of review. I know you've been working on rallying back and forth between you and a partner. If you don't have a partner just rally back and forth between you and the wall so step one let's rally back and forth let's see how some patrols are doing all right patrols patrols are in patrol hannah how you doing back and forth you can let it bounce let it bounce one time it gives you more we got time patrol jordan over here and patrol uh chance All right, Chase and Chance, how you guys doing? Remember, you don't have to hit it hard. Your rally's going good, twins. All right, two more patrols. Camille and Anna. Let's see what you got, Anna. Watch your angle, watch your angle so that you can stay in control longer. Tennis lesson 10, take 14, <laughs> go. 14, man, just got here. Uh, so, in uh, face to face, we got, we're just gonna use some uh, basketballs or soccer balls. You need a target. So you're just gonna get one right now and put in between you and your partner. This is called the serve challenge. So uh, last lesson we worked on serving. So we're gonna hold it with the letter C and we're going to attempt to hit our target. Now you may have a basketball or a soccer ball that you could easily do this with, but if not, use a teddy bear or shoes or, you know, it doesn't have to be a soccer ball, just any target that's, you know, about the same size. So uh you'll see who wins the challenge by whoever hits the object first so if mr highfield and i are partners i'm gonna have the racket down by my knee i'm holding the ball low boom first shot so i won that challenge on the first shot but now it's mr highfield's turn got the letter c Opposite foot forward. I'm ready. Ow! Dude! <laughs> okay, Mr. Highfield. Getting me back from the last lesson. I see how it is. Okay, in this next step, you and your partner are each going to have a target. So... There's a soccer ball in front of me, and then there's also a basketball in front of Mr. Highfield. My goal is to hit Mr. Highfield's basketball. His goal is to hit my soccer ball, and we're going to rally back and forth. Whoever can do so first wins the battle. So, uh, you cannot block 
your person, your partner is shot. I can't like put my racket right here and block it. So I have to make contact back here. Every once in a while, you'll have to start over with, you know, just cause it bounces multiple times to just pick it up and, you know, start over with the serve, no problem. But in most cases, you'll be able to rally it back and forth while you try to hit the ball. Oh, that was close, Mr. Highfield. Thank you. Oh, I got that out of there. That was close. You guys got the idea? So, you guys, when I say go, are going to go get. Oh! So, Mr. Highfield won that round. You guys. You guys are going to... All right, Sydney, how are you and your partner doing? Terrible. Great. We're doing great. <laughs> okay, It'd be nice for the video purpose if one of us actually hits it. Oh, I thought you hit it. All right, so I won the challenge. You and your partner do the same... <laughs> 